today another video and we're going to speak about uh, rain <laughs> so i have a request from one of you to actually talk about a little bit about rain about shoes but i was thinking um, it took me actually um, i think two weeks to prepare myself for this video because I think rain subject is quite a big one because it's not only about shoes, it's about everything what you're wearing really. And personally, me, when I'm living in Scotland and Scotland is famous for a rain and um, well, there's just a lot of rain over here. And then I think that it's a really great idea um, to talk about this. So we're going to actually chat about this but before we're going to jump into the subject of rain i want to show you what's happening here um because some of you might be interested and we already so after this video so this is going to be a video about rain after this video we're going to jump to another video and it's going to be about it's going to be about snow because we already have here winter like proper proper winter my partner he was going to work today for two hours my sister is the same um luckily i don't really need to go out but look at this look that's just from the window it's just super wide i think next video is going to be about snow and how to actually dress in the weather like this but today we're going to stay be, stay in the rain and we're going to chat about um rainy days so as you can imagine in scotland um living in scotland it gives us a lot of um rainy days in fact there's 265 days in a year in scotland that actually rain so we have only really 100 days that it doesn't doesn't rain you know so for me this was a problem before i didn't have a car because i obviously almost every day you carry your umbrella you need to have your umbrella with you because it's almost like 80 percent it's going to rain this day um so when i bought my car the rain stopped being a problem for me at all i didn't even notice i don't really care it's raining and i think that's quite important when you're living here that the car it's honestly something that completely changed your life you don't need to think about public transport because comparing to london when i was living in london rain wasn't a problem as well i didn't have a car but the transport is so great it's one of the best transport links in the world you go in the underground if you want you go jump in the bus there's so many buses everywhere you don't really honestly need to wait 10 more than 10 minutes and there's another bus coming the same bus because they're coming so often especially when i was living in central london it was just completely life was easy you don't really care it's raining and in scotland it was affecting me more when i moved here the rain because because the transport link it's not so great the buses are coming but sometimes they not sometimes you need to wait another hour for the bus there's not so many buses and um, in in you know two hours there's maybe two buses so every one hour there's a bus where then in london you have every 10 minutes so it really was was affecting me and my mental health on the beginning i remember and um yeah i was struggling struggling on the beginning when i moved here because of the weather however like i'm saying after two years i bought a car i think it was two years and then completely i forgot about rain so i we have a two cars now so we um not struggling with uh, rain itself so whenever i want to go somewhere i just jump in the car i drive there don't even need an umbrella i have an umbrella in the car but i don't really need it um only if it would be i don't know pouring like crazy but again rain here if i compare rain here and in in poland for example when a rain in poland then it's really raining it's like if you go out you're going to be so quite wet that's most of the time the rain we have but it's not so often but here you have a rain that it's you can still go outside and it's you're going to have a little bit wet hair but it's not going to um, it's so crazy so there's not so many rains here that you are that's just pouring and you would go out you will get soaked in a few minutes here i think the rain is just more often but it's not so strong so this again it's a, a little bit different so 
um, you know, you can, um, everything is obviously changing when you, um, like I'm saying, you buy a car, it's just completely different life. And once I bought a car, I honestly forgot that there is something like a rain, just doesn't affect me at all. But some of you, you might have a car, some of you might not have a car. Sometimes we live in a big city like London, it just was pointless to have a car because you would just stay in traffic forever. So again, Obviously, there are different circumstances when it comes to life and what kind of, you know, environment we live in. So obviously, when we are in the subject of the rain, we can't forget about the umbrella. And umbrella is something that we all should own at least one or two. Um, for example, um, when we, you know, here in UK, when you think about umbrella, you have this kind of image of a queen. And Queen Elizabeth II, she, almost always, she has an umbrella in the color of her outfit, which is really, really cool. And I just love that, you know, I love her and I love that she is putting this kind of uh, details to herself. And when she has a like, blue coat, she will have a blue, um, some kind of like a matching umbrella to it or like blue strip around her umbrella. And I could go on and go on. She has a favorite style of umbrella. It's like a transparent umbrella with this kind of like a strip on the bottom. Um, and she honestly looks so chic. Um, she's obviously older lady and she is a class, a classic woman and class um, re royalty represent, you know, the highest um, really affluent and um, the highest, uh, you know, level of um, being affluent. So, yeah, so it's obviously we can get inspired by her and choosing umbrella with color matching to our um, to our outfits but overall umbrellas i think the easiest is to have an umbrella that actually can fold and you can hide it in your bag put it in this kind of like a bag first putting in this kind of like a bag that uh, is not every all your stuff in your bag not going to get wet or if you can just leave it somewhere in the office if you're going to work to just dry next to your radiator or something but if you can't then obviously you can just put it in those kind of like a bags that they sell it with umbrella and just keep it this way you know and um, i think the umbrella yes that's, that's just your first that you should own when it comes to rain and there are chic umbrellas the umbrella woman they were wearing umbrellas for a really really long time so um you can invest in really nice as well umbrella like a not a folded one not this kind of like a small that you can put it in your bag but they're long really more heavier umbrella they are also like a bigger sizes for like families you can have all your family up to under one umbrella and um, actually victoria beckham she tend to have this kind of bigger umbrellas when she walking and there is obviously rain you obviously don't need to go black uh, when it comes to umbrellas. Black umbrellas are just, I think, easiest because they will match to everything most of the time. But um, you can go for more feminine look. So you would go for like a flower style design, more like a pinkish, more um, overall this kind of girlish uh, pastel colors, more feminine. Um, but you can also go this way like very flamboyant that you can go for yellow for very strong colors for some kind of very strong designs that they're still going to um, look good if you if that's what you're looking for but obviously you need to decide um, what kind of look um, you're going for second thing that i uh, personally think it's important when it comes to rainy weathers are shoes and um, obviously easy way is to, to just wear something that it's um, comfortable like some kind of sneakers or some kind of trainers but obviously we know they are not necessarily very elegant shoes but there are other options um, available like um, the most i think popular um, weather like rainy weather shoes are wellies and wellies obviously one of the most popular brand is hunter so um, that's like a that's like a basic if you really want to be this kind of chic um a lady that um you can still look very very elegant wearing wellies um they can go you can go for black you can go for like darker colors which are very chic um and they will match probably more of your outfit you can also go for a pastel. Pastel uh, wellies look really good when you have some kind of pastel um, piece of your outfit, their coat or a dress. 
so and this is just going to um, put a little bit more polish look because obviously wellies are not super uh, elegant shoes but obviously you're wearing for the occasion and if it's rainy then wellies are very appropriate you can go also very like stronger colors yellow red then you're going to have this kind of flamboyant look again more um this kind of um, personality more like a um, creative a fabulous woman personality then again a second thing um, that you can wear are ankle boots or any type of boots really but uh, let's focus on the ankle boots because they are shorter so there's no winter there's just bad weather outside and you would i think better for you to choose the shorter ankle boots because it's not so cold not so cold that you actually need to wear very high boots but um, you're just wearing them to cover your feet and ankle boots are great because they are easy to wear as well and there's many designs over there so it's just any color you want again and um, very easy to stylish in the like period of between um, autumn and winter or just before even autumn so it's late spring ankle boots are going to be really really great next one are going to be this kind of derby shoes that are a little bit more muscular but I think because there comes in many as well different colors you can really um, make them work and they are really going to be this option of more comfortable uh, flat shoes they are also these um, options that you can have a like on a heel which still i think they are very very chic but um, if you're looking for something that just put it on and run your errands or go to work then i think derby shoes are on point and uh, they can be very very elegant and very very chic especially made of um, beautiful leather doesn't need to be animal leather, leather it can be eco leather um, but this kind of that has this kind of shine to it you know that that just make them a little bit uh, more polish um, but there are wait hey there are so many designs there are even gold one that you can really stylist and look really chic and um, yeah silver gold you can go for any color honestly you want just focus on one color rather than go for some kind of crazy designs it's the same for any type of shoes you know if you're going for wellies for um, boots i feel like um, only animal print are um, like acceptable they look still elegant but you don't want to go for some kind of flowers because they just this is more like very very girlish and you're going for this kind of more like a less feminine but i think more girlish so more like a child look and i don't think that's very very elegant so one color is um, just better for you and another shoes that i personally really really like are loafers because they can like a derby shoes they are just you put them on they're a little bit better when it comes to coverage of your feet than let's say ballerina shoes because those tend to get wet as well very easy so I think loafers are just made a little bit better and obviously the most popular loafers and the most elegant loafers they are, are out there are Gucci and um, obviously if you're not having 500 quid to just spend on shoes like this you can honestly buy loafers everywhere I bought my loafers white loafers that I wear them all the time when obviously there's no snow but there's a rainy day and they're just so easy especially when you have a child you don't want to wear shoes that you're going to i don't know to park and you're going to wear heels you know that's just not not, not real not real situation here and you want to have some kind of flat shoes that still very comfy not necessarily sneakers but uh, more elegant they are again a little bit on muscular side more manish if you want to call them this way but they are perfect for office for this kind of work environment they are really really great you can always work you can always walk to work um, in loafers and you can have a beautiful high heels waiting for you under your desk just to change so that's also a really good idea to have a spare pair of shoes at work just to have prepare for any type of weather and um, I don't think any employer you know care if you have any shoes like normally people would actually normal probably more often people would have that that's very popular actually in london that a woman have 
they were very elegant, which I didn't like personally. They were really elegant. They were suits. They were suits, dresses, suits, trousers. They look very, very chic. But when it comes to shoes, they will all wear sneakers or some kind of Nikes when they go out from office. And that's really, that's honestly, that's such a big thing in London. And it's not only women. There's also a lot of men who do that. And it's just for me, destroy completely your outfit when you put beautiful suit and then you have uh, some kind of pink nike or even a white nike they're not going to work you know for you so i think loafers or derby shoes are much much more better and they're still very comfortable so and still you can wear them when it's rainy uh, weather so we spoke about umbrella we spoke about shoes i think those are like two of the basic things but then the third thing you can actually do to look more um classic when it comes to a more elegant i think not maybe classic but more elegant and chic when it comes to rain um is to match your outfit in this kind of similar shades so if you um you're going somewhere and you um or to work you want to go all black you know that's like just the easiest i think because you don't really need to worry about texture because the black is such a dark color that it's the darkest color that you not necessarily see the texture or what's happening on your clothes um, if you go for lighter colors, then obviously you can go for beige, which is really, really elegant color. You can go for beige wellies, you can go for beige coat. It's just all in the same shades. It's just honestly going to look much more polished than if you have everything from different type of um you know different type of colors but that's with everything you know monochromes are always elegant and always classic so it's not going to be different when it comes to rain it's just if you go especially for shoes like wellies that they are very they are not elegant shoes but if you match all in the same outfit then they're just going to look really really chic and uh, perfect obviously there are situations and i was actually checking how the royalty as well uh, wear when it comes to rain and many times um, they just are somewhere they're already wearing heels and someone either is holding for them an umbrella which we are not so fortunate in our life to have someone to just hold umbrella for us or they have uh, some someone who is going to give them the umbrella but they they not need they don't need to hold them you know like if there is not raining they don't need to carry this umbrella with you i had so many so many situations in my life um, that I took the umbrella with me, I left it on the bus because it's just something that you don't remember all the time. So I know the pain of losing the umbrella, especially when you spend money on nice umbrella. It's like, it's just like a hit in your heart <laughs> because you love your umbrella and then it's, it's not possible to find it. It's especially, I did this so many times in London, then I was just like, let's just buy something that fits in my bag and that's it, no more problem, you know? So we all need to learn sometimes the hard way. Next thing. Um, so yes, when I was saying about this royalty, um, they're wearing heels. Many of the times, Queen, is a, a Queen Elizabeth, she has a um, low heel or like a thicker heel and uh, shoes. And obviously she has her umbrella. But you need to remember that they most of the time going to jump in the car someone is going to drive them somewhere if you're using public transport then it's a completely different story you need to make sure you are not going to be wet because you don't want to be sick as well and wearing heels is just going to be looking silly if you are if you can afford it to just jump from your house in the hills it's raining you just call your umbrella you're jumping into the taxi a taxi is taking you to your work and you have no problem with spending money on that then that's completely different so you can um, you can wear your heels you can wear um, something that it's a little bit less give you less coverage for your feet but if you are in the situation that you can't always pay for the taxi or um, you just you know you're just using public transport because public transport because that's what you do and that's what you like then um, just be clever about this and you know don't make yourself um, don't look uncomfortable don't feel uncomfortable just because you want to wear heels all the time be um, you know responsible about yourself as well and you don't want to get sick as i'm saying as i said before you want to be um, elegant and classic but also smart lady 
Okay, next point on our on our list is obviously um, keeping yourself warm. So that's just continuation what I'm talking about. So keeping yourself having a nice coat, a nice warmer jacket if it's a spring. Um, coat that has a hood as well. They can be very elegant. You almost look like a red riding hood. But yeah, so it's kind of like a girth in the forest, you know imagination anyway um so yes there are coats that they have a beautiful um hoods the cape uh, coats um and obviously the normal like a uh, normal coats another type of coat which is perfect for a warmer weather it's um trench coat so those are great there's lots of people here especially um burberry obviously it's a company that um is creating famous trench coats and it's located in uk and um, so that's trench coats for me is just a very very english thing as well and so those are perfect for a weather for the rainy weather because obviously um, they are quite um they're going to protect you from the wind which is important again you don't want to get um cold and um yeah, you can wear them with different type of shoes as well. You can wear them with wellies, loafers, whatever you like. Um, just remember, keep yourself um, warm. If you're wearing in warmer climate, then obviously you may be some kind of um, just a thinner jacket, but still something that is not going to get super wet. So you need to obviously look on different type of materials, something that, um, or like a shorter trench coat even. They are, I have a trench, like a pink trench coat, and it's very, very thin. I can wear it even if in summer if I want, you know. Um, obviously when it's not 40 degrees, but uh, when there's a nice sunny day, but just raining a little bit and you feel that you need a coat not to just get a little bit um, cold or something, then yes, trench coats, I think they are very, very thin as well on the market. So um, it's, it's available for, I think, any um, climate here. Okay, ladies, so I think that was, that was it. The, the most important are the umbrellas, the... Uh, most important are shoes, your coat, you don't want to be cold. If you like this video, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe.